Que lo que mi gente. Today, I'm going to be doing a hair detox. Why am I doing a hair detox? Well, the reason why I'm doing a hair detox is because it's the beginning of the month and I want my hair to be able to receive all of the things that I'm putting in it, all of the nutrients of the products and etc. for the remaining of that month or whatever. So that's why I'm doing the hair detox. And um, with that being said, estoy aquí con otro video. Vamos a comenzar. Okay, so let me tell you. The reason why I don't have a shirt on is because this detox or whatever, I, I really don't have a good track record with it. Like, I'm sitting on a towel right now because I just simply can't be trusted. So, I'm gonna show you guys how I made this and prepare it and different things like that. It's super simple, there's nothing like complicated about this. I'm just gonna show you the process of it so that you guys can see when you're doing it for yourselves or if you try to do it with me, we're all on the same track and we're doing the same thing. So, um, hear that, here it goes. So basically, you get yourself a nice mixing bowl. It can be of any style that you want. I actually got a, this bowl that I'm using is a bowl that people use when they're mixing uh, bleach to do like hair dyes and stuff like that. Um, it has measurements on the inside, which I'm not using because um, with this, I'm basically just trying to get a consistency that I like. Now, people are gonna be particular about different consistencies that they would rather put in their hair. The reason why I want my consistency to be, for the most part, loose is because I feel like it distributes throughout your hair much easier because what happens with Finanite clay is um, you start noticing as it's drying, it's getting stiffer and stiffer and stiffer in your hair. And although that's not damaging your hair in any type of way, it makes it a lot easier on you when you can make it a lot thinner and you know add more apple cider vinegar to it so that it, you can have that. Um, and then as it's getting dry, it still has the same benefits regardless on if you make it thicker or if you make it thinner. It's just the distribution of it is much better when it's thinner, in my opinion. Um, so I'm basically going to be adding the bentonite clay first, and then I'm going to add the apple cider vinegar to it. Then if I feel like the consistency is not thin enough, then I'll just either add more apple cider vinegar, or if it's not thick enough, I'll add more bentonite clay and continue to, t to stir. Um, once this is done, I can basically start applying it to my hair. So once you let this stuff sit for a little while, which I have, which you don't have to, you can just start using it immediately, but I let it sit for a while just so I can kind of see what the true consistency is of it and you know there's a good chance that I may have to even add more of something in there if it's not enough usually this is about enough for my hair but you know things change over time so you know I'm going to take this and use it and see if I actually need more I doubt I need more but you know like I said very unpredictable at times things change about your hair things change about I guess how much you're putting per section and you know gotta take those things into consideration so um as you guys can see i have a bonnet on again it's starting to like be my thing i don't know but i have a bonnet on again and i'm gonna take this bonnet off i have already sectioned my hair yes very ugly yes i know um <laughs> <laughs> I already sectioned my hair in just like different sections. I think it's like six sections, like two, four, six. Yeah, about six sections or whatever. And um, this is basically so that I can start, you know, adding the bentonite clay in the sections and knowing like where I'm putting it, how much of it I'm putting it on each section. 
so that, you know, I'm, I'm good, you know? So, um, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to get the rest of these out of my way today. But um, since it's already like section I'll already just kind of move it a little bit so I can do whatever I have to do. Thank you. Um, my computer just told me what time it was. It does that from time to time. You know, we be like here with it because you know, at the end of the day. You know, let me know what time it is. So yeah, so this is me taking my hair out of a twist that I did the other day after I moisturized my hair. And um, it was like perfect because now I can literally just put the stuff in the way I need to and we're good. Now, hopefully I don't get any of this on my floor. No, I am about my floors. You know? So let's hopefully you don't get any of this on the floor. But um, I'm gonna put this throughout my hair like I told you guys earlier. As you put the stuff in. As you put the stuff in, when it dries, as it's drying or whatever, it's getting harder to distribute throughout the hair. So yeah, I'm gonna try my best to, you know, see. See now when these are tucked or whatever, it's out of my way better. I like that. Cause now I can do what I need to do without trouble or much trouble, you know? Um, I'm not gonna wet my hair prior to it because I just want it to stick to whatever dirt and buildup that's on my hair currently. And, um, you know, do its job the way it needs to do it. Now, I'm gonna take this gradually because I really, truly don't want this dripping all over the place. And it will. So I'm just gonna bring it up a little closer so you guys can see, I don't know what you guys, okay, you guys can see it or whatever. I'm just gonna do that to each of my sections. really and you see how it like weighs the hair down a little yeah doesn't feel so great but it's doing the job that it needs to do it doesn't sound great either but it's doing its job you know and see what it does there and see now with the length that my hair is I definitely cannot have a shirt on because this is going to be touching the shirt. Now, I could wear a shirt that I don't care about, but who goes through all of that trouble? You know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's keep it simple. You know, I'm not trying to go through extra just to mess a shirt up. And, you know, ultimately, it's like, you could have just took your shirt off. You know, why not take the shirt off, you know? So, let me just empty this off a little bit because... I just want to take that spoon out of there. Now, as you see, oh, as you can see, or if you noticed or whatever, um, I use a plastic spoon. And the reason why I use a plastic spoon is because it states on the jug here that if you use anything other than plastic, it can compromise the integrity of the vennonite clay. So, Make sure when you guys are using a utensil, that utensil is suitable for what you're trying to do with your um, with the bennonite clay, because you don't want to take away any properties, any type of. And I just spilled something on the floor. Like this is just great for me, you know what I'm saying? Trying to spill on the floor, and then it's kind of like, no, I'm gonna get a little bit on the floor in the table. Anyway, let's keep moving on. So I'm gonna just put this on my edges here so that I can get there and I mean not that I didn't expect it to get on the floor I was just trying really hard not for it for it not to um but it's it's really loose so it's not easy to not get it on the floor so there's that you know I'm proud of myself you know Head down like this is a constant reminder that I have it on my floor. So that's great. Oh, see, oh, just a little young, okay. <laughs> I'm having a little struggle here, guys. 
this is supposed to be fun. <laughs> spread that out so I can get in the root there. Cause I really want this stuff to be on my scalp as well because it's gonna like pull up, you know, stuff out of my um my hair follicle. <sighs> Just a little bit. Just a little tiring. I look, I look and check sometimes because you know, although it feels like you're doing something, you could be somewhere completely different from where you're trying to be in your hair. So. It looks like a little clay mud or something. I don't know. I'm trying though, guys. Uh, I didn't say the detox was easy. I'm just saying. You gotta do it. It's good for you to do it. And that's another one there. Okay, so. Meditate. This is starting to become a thing. <laughs> yeah, man. I got another one back here to have. <laughs> I got another. <laughs> I gotta get this one too, man. Dang. Okay, so I thought I had six. I have more than six, obviously. Now, gotta deal with this. But see, I still have like a decent amount in here, guys. And as you can see, my hair is, for the most part, covered. I just have to get like in my scalp somehow. I'm making such a mess. Okay, is it on there? Okay. So I'm like, this stuff is getting stiff which is not a bad thing. I just have to like massage it in so I can get it to my scalp because that's the, one of the most important parts of putting this in here. Give your scalp a nice little, you know, something. But yeah, put it in here, my hand like this, you know, and then just get it in there. So like one of the only cons that I see to this is, well, first of all, I have to do this in front of the camera because usually I would be over the sink or in the shower doing it on a normal basis. But for you guys, I have to do it here so that you guys can see the process of it. So when you are doing it over your sink or in your, um you know, shower, you're having less, way less of, ish, of an issue than I'm having because this stuff is everywhere. And one of the, one of the downsides too to it is um, the fact that it's so loose. Like people who like it to be thicker or whatever the case is, they're gonna go through less trouble with the drippiness of it because, you know, it's thicker and it's gonna, you know, be distributed a lot differently in their hair, then this is being distributed in my hair. But that's just a sacrifice that you make. Okay, hold on. See if I can make some nice little pigtails. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm gonna put some pigtails for y'all. You know, so y'all can see. But it feels like it's gonna do something. So as this stuff starts to uh, 
dry up, it's gonna pull a lot of the, like literally pull a lot of the, look at my hands, a lot of the impurities out of the hair. It's gonna pull a lot of the dirt off of the hair and out of your, you know, hair follicles and off of your hair cuticle. And yeah, it's pretty good. I tried it, well, I'm gonna try to use the rest of this because once it's drying, once it dries or whatever the case is, you can then, you know, take it, you know, take it out of your hair. Me, I just wanna make sure that it's on everything. You see? Oh, this is, let me see, oh. Oh. don't agree with this like come on like we we going outside like this definitely we trendsetting right now hold on i'm gonna move it more it's in my hand here like this come on i'm dripping i'm dripping i mean it don't really matter anymore yeah so i'm basically oh i know this is all in my hair now like it's really just sounding amazing um <laughs> been about an hour and um the vennonite clay is about 95 percent dry it's rock solid right now and um if i didn't know that this could wash out um i'd probably be a little devastated once i wash this out i'll be able to let you guys know like how it feels see the results of it being washed out now speaking of washing it out I'm going to be using a sulfate shampoo because um, I don't want any residue left over from this product being in there. I have no idea why I'm so gassy right now. I'm just burping all over the place. Um, but yeah, I don't want any residue um, being left behind from it. So I'm going to use a sulfate shampoo. This is only something that I do once a month, maybe. And um, yeah, it's just basically to get everything off. I'm gonna moisturize my hair as usual. And um, yeah, I'll be back with the with clean hair. Okay, so before I moisturize my hair, before I do anything else to it, I just want you guys to see it straight out of the washing process. And I'm just like hoping I got everything out <laughs> because you don't want any of that to stay in there. Not that at all harm anything i believe it's just you know if that dries in there it's gonna dry it white it's not gonna dry like you know uh like your regular hair color or something like that so yeah so yeah my hair feels soft it feels like very hydrated even though it's well it's kind of still like a little damp but um yeah this is this is it. It feels good though. It, it doesn't feel any like crazy or anything like that or whatever. I don't know what that is. Is, is that something? I don't know. I'll figure that out like later. Um, but yeah, so I'm like I told you guys before, I'm just going to moisturize my hair as usual and uh, basically just, you know, do it. If I, I don't, I haven't been wearing my hair out lately, but um, maybe I'll wear it out. I'm not sure, but yeah, this is pretty much the, the finished results of the Benonite Clay. Um, I used that shampoo and basically just, you know, made sure I got deep into my scalp and, you know, made sure everything was off of my hair as much as I possibly could. And this is the results. So I'm going to leave you guys on that. If you have any questions, um, leave a comment down below. And um, if you enjoyed this video, like, comment and subscribe 
And if you want to see my future videos or if you want to see uh, whenever I post a new video, um, hit the bell so that you'll receive all of my notifications um, for any video that I put out. Um, if there's anything that you guys want me to know about your hair or what you struggles that you might be having with your hair, maybe this method can actually help you fix whatever problem that you have or improve on the problems that you are experiencing. But with that being said, I want you guys to live life as always, and I will see you in the next video.